Salam alaikum, alaikum sala, que sambi la cutare. Peace and blessings, guys. Peace, peace, peace. From North Philly, the city of brotherly love, <laughs> where they have Rocky, a statue of Rocky in Fremont Park. A Rocky Balboa as a boxer. <laughs> and he's not a boxer. <laughs> um, now, Rocky Marciano was a boxer. You can look him up. Uh, anyway, uh, good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing great once again. Another day, another dollar making the donuts like always. Just coming in here this morning, wanting to speak a little bit on a couple of, uh, well, anything. Anything that comes to my mind, really. I, I'm like, you know, like always, um, I was thinking about when, when we have a patient, right? Let's say we have a patient that comes in for an, an X amount, uh, X problem, X situation, whatever. And you're doing you're gonna execute a a job, a belong or whatever works in the tradition. So help that person in any aspect, right? Do we take on the, the on the account? Do we take on the account on? what we're doing for that person is it going to affect you as the one helping that person doing the medicine for that person or is it going to in the long run hurt the client that's what I'm thinking this morning you know how do you regulate and how do you know that when you are performing a ritual for a person for a certain situation you know and um, you're done let's say with that job and the outcome that that person gets it's what they wanted who pays for the backlash you or the client give me a second Sorry about that, guys. And I'm gonna leave that as a question there. Who pays for the backlash? Why I say backlash? What comes around goes around. You understand? It's like a switch, on and off, 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 a blinker. It's on and it's off, it's on and it's off, it's on and it's off, right? So, I'm going to leave that there for you guys to analyze that. And how would you work in a situation where you understand that you're doing the job, you're doing the work. You are the doctor. They are the pa they the patient. How are you gonna protect yourself from receiving down the line in the long run repercussions from for whatever you did? How do you prepare yourself for that? Understand? Because I hear, right? A lot of people. 
And this is in all type of traditions. All types. Whether you do candle work, spiritual work, whatever you do, whatever, whatever. People, right? We 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 have the tendency to do something in the tradition as far as medicine, working with the tradition and doing medicine and helping people out and patients and stuff like that. We have the tendency to help, right? But we don't have the tendency to always have that precaution in our mind that while we helping this person out, what's coming what is coming after remember what's good for you is bad for someone else and vice versa how can we do this easy a job you came looking for a job and I know I used this before, but it's just the first thing that comes to my mind. Very simple to somebody to understand. You come uh, looking for a job or a better job, right? And you do medicine for that patient. For them to get themselves, for them to have a better job. Whether, um... Well, it's gonna have to be in another place. A better job or work could be in the same place because they might have different divisions of things. And you know, as you raise, stuff gets better. So let's say you do belong for them to get a better job. And that person obtains a better job. But how did he obtain that job? What was in play for him to attain that job? And I'm going to give you one, one of the things that could have happened. There's multiple. I'm going to give you a very easy one. They fired the person or a person from that job for him to get that job at that place. A person was fired. And the person that you did the job for gets the job that the other person had. You see how it's good for one, it's, it's looked at for good in one way, but it also has a, do you say, negative side to it? Why? Why negative? Because the person that lost a job, he might have a family, he might have children, he might have circumstances, bills and things. He's not working for nothing. So that person lost a job for you to have a job. You understand? And then not only that is as a practitioner in whatever tradition you're in or whatever you practice, Are you acknowledging or have uh, an understanding that you part of that? Do you have a system to regulate that? To know when you could do that and when you can't or when you should not do that? Because... It makes things worse for you in your life, in your family's life, in your children's life, with people that you love, all that. Because if it can't attack you, it'll attack someone else. There always will be a backlash. Even if it's a minuscule thing. But it's always going to come around. So you have to prepare yourself for that. One second.
Sorry about that, guys. But you see, you see the 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 one thing, right? Let's say that you did. Person came for you for a job. You trying to help the person out find a job. You trying to do good and helping them, and you know, you see that as a positive thing. Who, hey, person comes for a job. They need a job. They need to survive. You could, you, and you also could see that the person is not no, you know, laid back. They, they, they want to work. You know, so you know, <clears throat> they need it. But how did that person obtain that job? See, that's the thing that we, as practitioners, we forget to evaluate and we forget to understand. And sometimes you don't know how they got the job because you can't witness it. You know, you can't witness or see how did they get it? How did they get the job? Because we're just talking about a job right now. But in anything, <coughs> you help somebody in health, okay? Because they sick. How do you know that by you helping that person and that sickness that they have, let's say, um, you're not affecting yourself because you always have to remember, especially in Palo, we have to remember that things just don't work out of the skies. They just don't fall out of the sky. Nothing happens. You do the job, blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. No, it's not like that. You have to understand that things are getting negotiated. Negotiated. And if you don't know what is being negotiated, <coughs> that's when the problem or at least if you don't understand that this has to do with negotiations. And when I say negotiations, I'm saying negotiations in all aspects. You know, nego negotiation of family members, negotiated negotiations of the limitation of how long are you going to live, negotiating your health. You know, taking your health to help uh, to help another person in their health. You know, these are things that very, very minor people that I see on the internet or online speak about. You know, you learn, right? How to work the tradition. You learn how to do, you know, some belongos. You, you, you learn how to divinate. You learn how to, you know, <clears throat> help. And then and you know how to do what we consider bad, right? Because bad is something that if you understand, it comes natural. To do bad comes natural. To do good or what's considered good, to us, it's not natural. So, you know, these are small little things that I want people to understand because I was ignorant myself. You know, I knew in a sense that, you know, what goes around comes around. Like, I know that. Like, that's common sense. But I never had really stopped and looked and looked at that the things that I perceive as good, as positive, and helping others had an, an outcome for me or for someone in a negative way. And I'm speaking in these ways because for we can understand each other. 
Now, yes, there are instances, right? And this is a different, different topic, different situation, where somebody sends something to you, and all you do is retrieve it back to them. That's fine, because. You're just sending back what they sent to you. It's not the same thing as what I'm talking about. Because I know some people are going to say, no, I just, when they send something to me, I just send it back. Oh, no problem. I understand that. But there are things that they send to you that you just can't send back just like that. It's not that simple. It's not that easy. You know, you know, there are things that people send to you that requires work and it requires for you to be on a side that it's, uh, it's, it's tough, you know, it's, it's serious. So, you know, think about that guys, you know, if anything, leave a comment uh, of what you think, um, who should, who is the one that's gonna actually pay or have those uh, repercussions, if any, whether major, minuscule, does it add up? Is there a time where you could build back up that balance where you're capable to use some of that energy and not put yourself in such an imbalanced state that causes you harm or others in your family. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam, que sambi la kutare. I'll keep on talking here and blabbering. Um, I noticed that I usually do 15 minute videos, but I, you know, trying to look for a way to explain things in a common layman term where we could just all understand it, all understand it. Not that I'm any uh, uh, teacher or educated or whatever, but that we could all understand. Be safe, guys. Have a great day. Thumb up the video for the algorithm for other people can hear my, uh, <laughs> my jibbity jabber. Uh, be safe. Talk to you soon.